What is going on my Super Sandwiches, Romstar here, and today is just me talking about episode uh, 46 of Dragon Ball Super. You can actually see Kira Bug right over here doing her thing. She's doing work stuff. Uh, she's not allowed to like, you know, have fun until she finishes what she has to do. Uh, but in the meantime, we're going to discuss episode 46 of Dragon Ball Super. And all I gotta say is, thank God, the worst arc in the history of Dragon Ball is officially done. Now, that is just my opinion. My opinion. I had no fun watching that. Now I get it, just like I said the last two times, I get what they were going for. Obviously we know the Trunks arc was starting and because of that we knew where the story was going, which also made us even more hyped for what was going to happen next, which means we wanted this filler stuff to end. And uh, in the past, like I said, I enjoyed the lighthearted stuff. I, I want to see Goku and his squad just kind of do stuff outside of their serious side. And with this arc, they were just basically preparing the Trunks arc and they wanted to give us something action oriented because I feel like... Toy probably saw us as fans who just want to see, you know, action mostly. And I get that. Uh, but at the same time, it just felt so forced. It was so painful to watch for the past three weeks. And like I said, mostly because due to the fact that I knew what was going to happen next with the trunk stuff. Now, speaking of which, that outro, the last, like, five seconds of that episode made it completely worth it. Dude. When I saw that live, because I watch the episode live every single Saturday, and then I watch the sub version every single Sunday, which is today, today is Sunday. When I saw it live, and I saw it switch over to the trunks, the tone changed, everything changed. It just shows you how seriously dark it is. And the thing that I'm excited about the most right now in Dragon Ball Super is how dark it's going to get. You guys remember when Trunks first showed up? The series, I mean, Dragon Ball Z has always been pretty much kind of dark. Uh, I mean, freaking the first thing we ever witnessed in Dragon Ball Z was Raditz shows up and he freaking murders. Well, he, he doesn't murder Goku, but Goku ends up dying. It was pretty dark in the beginning. And this is like like literally the first couple of episodes of Dragon Ball Z. But with like Dragon Ball Super, it's been more on the lighthearted side ever since this Dragon Ball series came back. And we've been missing that kind of that dark atmosphere. And I love to see what Toei and Toriyama have in store for us with this next story. Because after seeing that preview, it... It's, it's gonna get real. It's gonna get real real fast and I'm sure every single person here watching this video is super hyped for next week. In fact, if you're hyped for the Trunks arc, make sure you leave a like right below in the comment or something. And you can just, just gauge it yourself. If you look at the comments and likes in this video, it shows you how hyped everybody is for this next story in Dragon Ball Super. Now, I know one thing that always is kind of like, well not always, but in the last week. One thing that's kind of bugged me is, is I wish I had known. Can you guys imagine if we were just all just sitting there and all of a sudden saw that scene like, did that just really just happen? Is that for real where the story's going? That would be so much more impactful, but at the same time, you gotta blame Toei for doing a press release around it. I feel like they don't really trust their audience. Uh, and I know most of their audience right now is marketed towards Japan, obviously. But I feel like had they just never told anybody they're gonna bring back trunks, everybody would have been hyped. The ratings for episode uh, 46 would have been a thousand times better than uh, any other episode that aired so far in the series. But for whatever reason, they decided to just let everybody know that Trunks is going to come back and all that good stuff. So I can't blame him. But ultimately, we're all hyped. Now, I just spent most of this video so far talking about the outro instead of the actual episode itself. So let's go ahead and just discuss it real fast. Now, as always, I want to hear from you guys as well. So if you want to feel free to drop any comments in regards to what you thought about or felt about this episode, feel free to do so in the comment section below. But ultimately, like I said, I just did not really like it. But I will say this. I knew the outcome was going to be what was what happened, and that was oh, obviously Monaka doing something to win. But I couldn't figure out how because you have to bring Monaka there somehow, and you gotta have some, something to impress Goku. So when freaking Monaka stepped on the uh, the nucleus, the center of the the main portion of the of the superhuman water or the super water, and basically weakened them, that I, I knew was going to happen, and that was pretty hype. And I. I gotta give it up at least for the try. Like that part where it was Goku and Kaku Vegeta fighting, it wasn't that bad. I will say that, it wasn't that bad. It was a lot better than last week, obviously. I think the more painful part about this whole mini arc is due to the fact that we had to kind of sit through two episodes of nothing really happening. On top of that, uh, as a partial Vegeta fan, and I say partial Vegeta fan because he's not my favorite character, but he's amongst, amongst my favorites. As a Vegeta fan, it also hurt to see them humiliate Vegeta the entire time like that. I mean, he shows up, and his power is taken away and he's completely useless. On top of that, even in this episode, they make him stuck in a pacifier. Think about that for a second. As a Vegeta fan, you're watching your favorite character 
suck on a pacifier now in his defense he had no clue what it was and it's kind of funny at the end when he revealed like wait a minute that was a pacifier i was sucking on i would have never died i would have rather died bro but uh it just it was all like this now I will say the comedy was funny. There was a lot of funny aspects in that episode. And initially when I watched the raw version, I really didn't pay attention that much to be honest, just because I was so over it. But when I rewatched it in the sub version, I found it a lot funnier than it was. Uh, the whole jackal moment of the water didn't want to absorb him just because he was so weak. Hilarious, absolutely funny. On top of that, we got Monaka being the winner. Even Vegeta interrupting the fight because he didn't want to copy Vegeta to fight so sloppily, but saying that he wanted Goku to lose. Like he was like on both sides. It, it had a fair share amount of comedy. So. I'm not gonna say this is the worst arc in terms of like this. It sucked. It was unwatchable. But I will say this is the second like least favorite. I will say that. Does that make sense? Like I'm not trying to make this video to bash the episode and the mini arc. I'm just trying to say basically that I was kind of over it essentially. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm just talking in circles at this point because uh, part of me hates it, part of me likes it. But like I can't really, I can't even decide myself what I think about it ultimately. But like honestly, I'm just glad it's over with. And put it this way: if you look at the past uh, filler arcs in the Dragon Ball series in you know everything overall dragon ball dragon ball z dragon ball gt everything every filler side of the series there's stuff that i go back to and rewatch. i mean sometimes i want to go back and rewatch gohan kicking the uh garlic saga's ass you know him fighting you know a garlic juniors squad was pretty cool it's pretty badass i can go back and watch it every time i can go back and watch you know gohan in high school fighting all the goons as a, as a golden warrior it's fun but <laughs> i will probably never go back and rewatch this arc just because i don't know I, it's just weird. I'm not the only person here who feels that way. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below how you feel, because I feel like I'm being kind of harsh, but at the same time, like I said, I just wasn't a big fan. But There's ultimately, no this yeah, even she, she just stopped doing what she's supposed to do to tell you how much she didn't watch it. She, 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 said, she said there was no reason to watch that filler arc, and I agree. Not now, again, again, don't watch, it twice. don't watch it twice. Exactly. Now, I will say this though, uh, it ended up making up for it in the end because. Even though the fight wasn't that great and I just didn't care about it, when that trunk scene popped up, it was so worth it. Ooh, girl. Completely worth it. As she said, ooh, girl. Hey, you're supposed to be doing your stuff. You gotta do your stuff so we can watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> um, so I'm really hyped. I'm super hyped. And you know what? So just to talk about uh, a couple of things that I've noticed. Let's talk about the preview now. Uh, we're done with this review. So if you want to feel free to leave, we'll go for it. I feel like I missed a couple of details, but I honestly don't care just because I'm so over this arc. Let's talk about the next episode preview. First and foremost, did anybody notice, uh, and Geek was going to point this out to me, so big shout out to him. Anybody else notice that the machine that Bulma was working on in the future was the same one that main timeline Bulma was working on? Because if you go back and you watch it, she's like making like this blue gel stuff for something. Now, remember like two episodes ago when Bulma was working with Jackal with that thing right there? Now the question is, is what the hell is that? That right there, I did not notice at all, but it was Geek that pointed out. I was like, wow, that's really, really good. Like catching that, I would have never thought about that. Second, Let's talk about this uh, Goku Black, Black Guy, Black Goku, Black, whatever the hell his name is. Uh, the next episode preview says that the new enemy appears, his name is Black, but we know his name is Goku Black, and we saw the Goku image. Uh, a lot of people are confused by the form. A lot of people are saying basically like, oh, it didn't look like that Goku that we saw in the poster. Well, yeah, it's because it's a portrayal of it. If you guys remember the very first time the angels were portrayed by Trunks when he showed up uh, in Dragon Ball Z, what did it look like? You guys might not remember because when you officially saw the androids, you remember this guy right there, up, up, right there, this this guy right there, Android 17, is basically a humanoid, right? Well, initially, the first time they showed the androids, they were portraying this, like, giant purplish dark creature, like, super huge, like, the size of Broly. But that's not what they look like. The The idea of the of uh, that dark figure that we saw in the next episode preview was just supposed to be, like, to, put, to show what the menace is like. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to see that uh, enemy next episode. We're probably going to see just kind of, like, that silhouette. But... That was just kind of like a portrayal. It's just how you show the character off, because they're not going to show off the enemy from the start. Because if you think about it, in the Dragon Ball series, they never upfront showed what the main villain and character looks like. They always kind of showed some kind of dark side of some kind of like a silhouette or something, and then later they reveal what they look like, and you're like, oh, so that's what they look like. So that's what that is. A lot of people are like, oh, is he transformed? Is it a different person? Of course, the community are making jokes saying it's Broly. It's not Broly. Can we can we stop with the Broly jokes? I feel like as a community we. I don't know what reason why we keep talking about Broly like that, but it's not. It's just, it's it's Goku Black or Black or whatever the hell he is, and he's just probably portrayed that way. Then again, for all we know, it could be a shapeshifter or something that just takes on the form of something powerful, which that would be interesting. Actually, that would be really interesting if that's the case. Either way, the future is in trouble, and there's a lot of questions that I want to uh, I have to ask right now that I obviously can't answer 
and I just cannot wait to see what happens next week, essentially. I mean, there's really little I can say. All, all, all else will be saw in the outro or the next episode preview was Mai showed up. She looks very young. The question is, is when the hell did she become young? But I guess if, if Mai was destined to become young again, uh, then, wait a minute. How did she become young if there's no Dragon Balls in, in that timeline? Unless it happened before the androids showed up? I don't know. I guess there's a lot of questions. It's gonna be a lot of plot holes, but honestly, end of the day, I'm just gonna enjoy the series. Whatever gets answered, gets answered, but to the stuff that doesn't get answered, I'm not gonna be mad about it. I like it. I like Trunks' new design. I don't mind the blue hair. It's kind of weird, but he looks pretty cool. Pulls it off really, really well. And ultimately, I'm going to watch the hell out of the episode when it airs next Saturday as well as Sunday when we get the sub version. So I am beyond hype for the return of one of the greatest warriors in the Dragon Ball series. With that said, if you are as well, and this guy right here, look right there. If you are as well, feel free to leave a like right below. And again, I want, I want you guys to gauge your excitement for the community so other people can see like, wow, there's a lot of comments. There's a lot of likes in here. We got hyped. So leave a like, a comment if you're excited for the series. If you have any questions you want to ask, feel free to do so as well. Not that I can answer. It's just kind of a question we can all kind of have like mental notes for. Feel free to drop it in the comment section below. But ultimately, I feel like I speak for everyone when I say I'm glad this arc is done and we're ready to go to the next stuff. The future Trunks arc of Dragon Ball Super. So yeah, we made it. We made it. Anyways, uh, so I hope you enjoyed this, this really quick uh, review. I apologize if I didn't cover that much just because, like I said, I was over this arc. But I am ready for next week, and I'm sure everybody else is as well. If you are, you know what to do. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed us today. My name is Ramstar, and I will see all y'all super sandwiches in the comment section below. Peace.